Hello everyone and welcome back to another video here on Wound Up Reviews and in this one I'm going to be just unboxing and uh, giving you guys my first impressions of a very popular Seiko kind of explorer-esque watch. Uh, this is of course the Seiko Alpinist with the reference number SARB017. Um, it is a largely popular watch by Seiko. They have made a couple of different Alpinist models although um, this green one with the gold markers or the gilt uh, markers is definitely the most popular um, Alpinist model that they have ever made. Uh, this watch has been very graciously lent in to me by a supporter of the channel. So thank you very much for that. I do appreciate it a lot. And so without any further ado, let's, uh, let's open up this box. And as you can see, the box... Uh, the entire box does not fit within the frame of this video. So we have got a rectangular box here and let me just open it. There we go. And inside you'll find the main Seiko box itself which has the same color and pattern and feel as in many 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 different JDM models from Seiko. And below that we have the instructions manual for the watch. So here we go, here we have the Seiko Alpinist. And there we have her, the very famous Alpinist from Seiko. And as you can see, if you are an Alpinist fan or a Seiko fan in general, uh, this watch is currently not situated on the leather strap that you get with the watch. Um, that strap, I do believe, is under this part of the box, perhaps. Yeah, there you go. There, there is the uh, the original strap. So let's just take a look at it. Okay, and right off the bat, I do have to say this this might very well be the worst feeling leather strap that I've held in my hands in a very long while. Okay, so I definitely understand why the person who owns this watch changed out the straps. Um, it feels very plasticky, it's hard, it is, it is way too shiny um, for this watch. And uh, so yeah, this strap, do, uh, do make sure that you buy a different strap when you get this watch because this one is just, it's just horrible. Uh, so, so let's put that to the side and take a look at the watch itself. And uh, he has put this watch on a very nice uh, vintage style leather strap here with the stitching on either side here and uh, and at the end here and it does patina very well so um, looks great what kind of strap is this this is a um, he bought this watch from uh, the company hook straps so yeah overall nice strap so the watch itself the most important thing today I do have to say, my first impressions are great. Um, the finishing on this watch is quite spectacular, I do have to say, for the price that you're paying. Uh, this watch is around $500, I believe. Um, I do believe that there have been some rumors of this watch being discontinued. Um, um, I don't know, this watch may already be discontinued. Uh, but I've searched around a bit and you can still find these watches on Chrono24 and on eBay and of course on your various different watch enthusiast forums and Facebook groups. So while they may be discontinuing this watch, there is still quite a decent supply of them on the secondary market, which is great. But as I was saying, the finishing on this watch is quite spectacular. And also we have a brushed finish on the top of the lugs and the angled uh, bezel here is polished. We have sapphire crystal here with, um, I believe, AR coating. It is uh, slightly raised above the bezel. We have a screw down crown and we have two crowns actually. We have one for controlling the, uh, the compass uh, bezel here, the, the interior bezel, if you will. And the other is, of course, for, for the watch's main functions. The crown action on this watch in terms of screwing it on and unscrewing it, um, I do have to say it feels quite a lot better than my SBDC065. Uh, and that has the same movement and is a more expensive watch from Seiko. So, uh, yeah, they have done a great job with this. 
but the main attraction of this watch it has to be the dial of course uh, you have got a sunburst gr a green dial which i think looks great and we have the gold accents uh, which are called gilt because they are not real gold they are kind of painted on uh, of course you can't expect real gold at this price point um, and i do have to say i think it looks great um, this watch has 200 meters of water resistance and yeah overall i am quite impressed with this seiko um, i do get why so many people like it uh, the size is good it's just 38 millimeters in diameter and the lug to lug distance is a nice 46 and we have got a 12 uh, millimeter thickness so overall the dimensions on this watch are kind of perfect for uh, the average man it houses the 6r15 movement which is a solid all-around workhorse of a movement i have it in my diver in my daily watch and i do like the movement a lot so that's fantastic but yeah as i was saying i am very impressed with this watch and i'm going to be very excited to check this watch out over the next couple of days um, I do not think that I will make a standard review video of this watch because there are so many uh, but instead I think I will post a video uh, very similar to the one that I posted before this one uh, where I will have the watch out in the sunlight so you can appreciate the dial and and all of this watch's design features uh, much more than in here in my studio so um, yeah not a full-on review I'm just going to take it outside and show you the dial and talk about the main pros and cons as I find them. Um, so yeah, that will probably come out uh, maybe this weekend and maybe a few days after this weekend. I'm not entirely sure, but I'm planning on making that video this weekend. So um, yeah, let's put the watch on my wrist and I'll show you how it wears on my 19.5 um, centimeter wrist. And there you have the watch. And as I was mentioning before, I said that this watch has a very very nice uh, size that will fit most people and, and as you can see here um, it not only fits the average sized wrist but it also fits a large wrist at almost 20 centimeters. Man I think this looks fantastic. It's a nice size, it's comfortable, it's not too heavy, it's not too large, it's not too cumbersome overall so yeah fantastic size. And this dial is is very beautiful. So um, so yeah, there's that. This has been a first impressions and an unboxing of the legendary Seiko Alpinist reference number Sarb 017. Um, please do feel free to let me know what you guys think about this watch in the comment section down below. Like and subscribe also if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more like it. And with that said, I'll see you in my future videos. Bye bye.